I invite everyone to stand for the arrival of the Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Honorable Alan Michael Shastney. Okay, this morning we are honored to have the Royal St. Lucian Police Band to perform the national anthems of St. Lucia and Taiwan. Thank you to the Royal St. Lucian Police Band for your beautiful performance. You may be seated. Honorable Alan Michael Chastney, Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Economic Growth, Job Creation, External Affairs, and the Public Service. Honorable Andy Daniel, Speaker of the House of Assembly. Former Governor General, Her Excellency Dame Paulette Louise. Honorable Bradley Felix, Minister for Commerce, International Trade, Investment, Enterprise Development, and Consumer Affairs. Other members of Cabinet, members of the House of Assembly, her Excellency Elmer Jins Isaac, Ambassador of St. Lucia to the OECS and CARICOM. Other resident ambassadors, heads of regional and international organizations with diplomatic status. Mr. Benjamin Emmanuel, Cabinet Secretary. Ms. Sophia Henry, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Commerce, International Trade, Investment, Enterprise Development, and Consumer Affairs. Other Permanent Secretaries, Deputy Permanent Secretaries, Heads of Private Sector Agencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, and our viewers who are watching live on the NTN live stream, we welcome you this morning. Good morning. We welcome you to the 12th Annual St. Lucia Taiwan Trade Show. And this has been going on for, as you can tell, 12 years. So it's a good initiative, and we are happy to be friends with Taiwan. Woshi Jing Tian De Jun Shiren Leander Kalik Shabatis. I'm your host, Stephen Chow, from the Embassy of Republic of China, Taiwan, in St. Lucia. At this time, I'll invite you to stand 
as I invite Deacon Thomas Alexander to do the opening prayers. Permit me to adopt the established protocol. I greet you in the name of Jesus, our Savior. I'll read you from the book of Sirach chapter 10, verses 1 to 5. The wise leader will teach his people. The government of the intelligent man will be well ordered. As the leader is, so will his ministers be. As the leader of the country is, so will be its inhabitants. A king without wisdom will ruin his people. A city will prosper through the wisdom of its rulers. The government of the earth is in the hands of the Lord. In his own time, he will raise up the right leader. Human success is in the hands of the Lord, and he clothes the rulers with his glory. The word of the Lord. Now let us pray. Father, you are all present here today. We thank you for each mind and each heart that fills the presence of this room, we thank you. Only you truly know what we are setting out to accomplish today. We have ideas, we have wisdom, hints, and daily instructions. We have talents, abilities, and time to work. However, only you can see in perfect detail the end of every beginning, every project, every season, every life. Nothing is ever in vain, for even mistakes and missteps are used for good. Your righteousness transcends all our efforts and understanding. Forgive us, Heavenly Father, for our pride, the pride that threatens to unqualify us. Strengthen our confidence in who you have made us to be. Set us free from comparison in order to work together efficiently. Bless this trade show. Bless all those present as well as the lives of those we'll encounter afterwards. Prepare us to make every moment count. May the good Lord continue to protect, guide, and bless the government and people of St. Lucia, and by extension, the government and people of the Republic of China on Taiwan. Through Christ our Lord, and the people says, Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Now we welcome Mrs. Sophia M. Henry, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Commerce, International Trade, Investment, Enterprise Development, and Consumer Affairs to the podium to give her welcome remarks. Please allow me to adopt the protocol already established. I bid you a pleasant morning. As a permanent secretary within the Ministry of Commerce, International Trade, Investment, Enterprise Development, and Consumer Affairs, it is indeed a privilege to welcome you 
to the opening of the 12th annual St. Lucia Taiwan Partnership Trade Show under the theme Family. The trade show has been a special event on the ministry's calendar, and we are extremely happy to partner with our extended family at the Taiwanese Embassy to bring it to fruition once more. Please allow me to extend sincere thanks and appreciation to His Excellency Douglas C. T. Shen and his team who have remained selfless and resolute in their commitment at ensuring the participation of Taiwanese companies, additionally giving our local companies an opportunity to bring to the public their offerings. Ambassador, your commitment to growth and development of small businesses and by extension our country, St. Lucia, is evident in the number of ways your team has supported my ministry. The continual enhancement, quality and sustainability of the trade show throughout the years, a testament to our progress along paths of continuous growth for our economy. As the month of November comes to an end, November is observed as business month, we are embracing this year's theme, propelling growth through entrepreneurship. We remain focused on building an entrepreneurial culture and promoting entrepreneurship throughout the breadth of St. Lucia. Today, we are witnessing an increase in the number of entrepreneurs from St. Lucia and Taiwan showcasing their authentic products and services. This speaks to the importance of St. Lucia-Taiwan partnership as we build on our capacity to deliver world-class products and services. Our responsibility as government and development partners is to work together in enhancing our business environment to enable the entrepreneurial culture to thrive. The St. Lucia-Taiwan Partnership Trade Show is a very important event as it provides the opportunity for business representatives to interact with their targeted customers. Honorable Alan Michael Chastney, Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Economic Growth, Job Creation, External Affairs and the Public Service, we are encouraged by your commitment to enterprise growth and development. Thanks for taking time off your busy schedule to participate in this ceremony. Honorable Andy Daniel, Speaker of the House of Assembly, I wish to warmly welcome you. Her Excellency, Dame Paulette Louise, former Governor General, thank you for gracing us with your presence. Honorable Bradley Felix, Minister for Commerce, International Trade, Investment, Enterprise Development, and Consumer Affairs. I applaud you for your sterling leadership and warmly welcome you. Other members of Cabinet, other members of the House of Assembly, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this ceremony. Resident ambassadors, heads of regional and international organizations with diplomatic status, head of civil service, permanent secretaries, private sector representatives, my team from the Ministry of Commerce, other invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 12th annual St. Lucia Taiwan Partnership Trade Show. I encourage you to support the businesses represented here. Take a moment to speak with the representatives, sample, make purchases, and please provide feedback on the product and service offerings. Thank you for sharing this moment with my trade family.
，下面请我们欢迎深入下音乐学校带来的文化表演 ，Please give them a round of applause。
we'd like to thank the St. Lucian School of Music for this wonderful, wonderfully put together musical rendition. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to proceed and we would now welcome on stage His Excellency Douglas Jianjun Chen, Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan, to give his remarks. 接下来请我们欢迎中华民国驻圣卢西亚大使馆沈正中大使发表演说 Thank you very much Honorable Prime Minister Ellen Michael Chestnut Honorable Speaker Andy Daniel Her Excellency Tem Colette Luisi, former Governor General Minister Mary Isaac and uh, uh, Honorable Minister, uh, I'm Honorable uh, Philip Pierre, the lead, leader of the opposition, uh, other members of the uh, parliament, distinguished guests, good morning. It is my honor to attend the opening ceremony of 2019 St. Lucia Taiwan Partner Trade Show this morning. And I am very delighted to tell you that this event has become the most significant commercial platform in St. Lucia. I would like to tell you, Taiwan is now ranked as the 23rd biggest economy around the world. And 97.7% of Taiwan companies are small and medium-sized enterprise, SMES, which represent about 78.5% of jobs opportunities in Taiwan. So Taiwan is well known how to assist SAMES to become a vibrant engine for economic growth. SMES not only create a large number of employment opportunities, but also the key to providing productivity, flexibility, and the creativity required in the new age of global ec economy. So I still remember in the uh, 1970s, 80s, uh, 1980s, many Taiwanese salesmen traveled around the world just with a very small, we call it 007 suitcase with some samples and they visit different uh, uh, customer, uh, possible buyers around the world and they brought back a lot of uh, uh, orders and, uh, and, uh, and they produced many, many uh, job opportunities in Taiwan and make a lot of money for Taiwan until now. Today we have eight uh, exhibitors from Taiwan. They travel across the sea to, to St. Lucia. And one of the exhibitors, Miss Young, she has been here for three executive years. So this is the spirit of the SMES uh, from Taiwan. They try to promote their, their products around the world and they try to create more, uh, more working opportunity. So, uh, you know, today this trade show is a partnership event between Taiwan and St. Lucia. So I'm pleased to introduce that uh, we have eight companies from Taiwan whose products and services include adjustable cushion, pillows, office chairs, kitchen appliance, fitness equipment, solar system light, high quality tea, network video rec recorder, security system, battery equipment, and the electricity electrical engineering. As I mentioned, trade show is a platform to exchange ideas and the business opportunities. I encourage all of the participating companies to use this platform well. Maybe next year, with the permission of the Minister Felix, uh, we could even expand and reach out to company and the business leaders from neighboring countries and invite them to this trade, to this trade show with us. My colleague told me that uh, the Ministry of Commerce and the Trade Show Organizing Committee have invested a great effort to come up with many interest, interesting events, such as the fashion show, karaoke, and the Zumba fitness. I would like to take this opportunity to extend my appreciation to the Honorable uh, Minister Felix, uh, the Ministry of Commerce, Trade Show Organizing Committee, and the all executives. Thank you for your time, your effort, your cooperation, and the, your participation. Without your contribution, we won't have this 
event today. So would you please give everybody a big round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 12 years of we have the trade show in St. Lucia. In Asia, 12 years represent a full circle in time. As the trade show enters the next circle, let's hope for a brighter and even more prosperous future for the business communities of our two countries. Last but not the least, I would like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to the Honorable Prime Minister Ellen Chestnut. Thank you very much for you for joining us this morning with your tight schedule. And thank you very much for your support for our trade show. We expect in the next 12 years, the trade show still can be held in St. Lucia. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador Shen. And he mentioned karaoke. So if you want to see Ambassador sing, come to the karaoke on Saturday afternoon. You will see him sing my way. <laughs> okay, um, at this time we will invite Caribbean Greens, the library still pan. They will now serenade us with a beautiful medley of local music. So you will have a nice serenade earlier on. This time you'll get some local upbeat music. So we welcome them at this time. Um, When you came in, you were given a program sheet. There are three sheets with three red dots on it. Look at your sheet. Do you see a red dot? Anybody? I see one, two. Okay. Only three. So what happened? You just won yourself a voucher to be used from any one of the exhibitors that are here today. I don't know the value. Maybe 20, maybe 50 maybe a hundred, but you won. So hold your sheets, and then you can go to any one of the exhibitors or one of the persons with the blue shirts, and they will assist you to get that. So you were just lucky today. Okay, and this trade show is going on from today till Sunday. So it's a three-day trade show. The time of the trade show is from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So you're welcome to visit Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Come and patronize, and as Ambassador said, we will be having karaoke. So if you cannot sing, you can carry your own key. It's okay. We'll be having Zumba, fitness, so come ready to exercise as well. We'll be having lots of live performances as well as a we'll be Yes, we will be having live performances, and we'll be also having a modeling section, okay, where all the different products from our clients, the earrings, the clothing, the shoes, the bags will be displayed, but in fashion, so you won't want to miss it. And that fashion show is taking place on Sunday afternoon. So you don't want to miss it, so spread the word to your friends and family. And remember that the trade show is, the theme this year is family. So we want to encourage you to bring your family along. When you come in, so bring your father, your grandmother, everybody. So you may just get a prize if you bring your entire family. There are prizes going on throughout the entire three days. Okay? So please remember and spread the word. Also, we have a number of exhibitors. In total, I'm not sure if it was mentioned, we have 46 exhibitors from St. Lucia, ranging from health and beauty. We have also craft. We have food and beverage, number of wines, and so forth, so you can also enjoy. So we welcome you to come to the trade show. At this time, we present to you the Steel Pan Orchestra.
I'd like to say thank you to the Caribbean Grains Library Still Pan Group for this wonderfully put together musical piece. Wasn't it beautiful? When we see young people, we need to encourage them. So give them another round of applause. And if you want to see more of them, they will be there on, on Saturday. They're coming back, so they'll be here for more entertainment. So you can hear more of them. We also will be having Keisha, a St. Lucian International Recording Soccer Artist. That's later today, actually, 6 to 6.30. We're also having Dominoes. Bring your dominoes. It's a family event. That's what we're um, portraying this year. So bring your dominoes. We have that as well on all three days. We also have Deshaun Augustine with the live band. He was the winner of the Alpha Alley Challenge 2019 and Youth First Teens winner 2017. He will be here with us on Sunday as well from 6.45 to 7 p.m. And for those interested in the Zumba fitness, it's Saturday from 5.30 to 6 p.m. And we're only taking up to 40 persons, so register early. Um, the Christmas karaoke is at 6 to 7.30 on Saturday. So by that time, you would have cooked your food and done everything, so everybody needs to be here for karaoke. We also have face painting on Saturday and also on Sunday. So... Again, a lot in store. And if you want more information about the times, if you don't want to be there the whole day, then you could see one of us at the front and we will give you the schedule. Thank you. Thank you. So now, that's, ladies and gentlemen, may we welcome Honorable Bradley Felix, Minister for Commerce, International Trade, Investment, Enterprise Development, and Consumer Affairs to give his welcome remarks. Honorable Prime Minister, Alan Chastney, Honorable Speaker of the House, Mr. Andy Daniel, Excellency Dame Pullet Louisa, form, Louisa, former Governor General, the Honorable Philip Pierre, Leader of the Opposition, Cabinet colleagues, exhibitors, um, staff of the Ministry, the ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Of course, I notice the tagline from the Library Steel Orchestra, Youth Empowerment Through Music. And where's Anno? Um, Anno, I notice the, the bass drum as a sponsor. So the bass drum of the, 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 the Steel Orchestra seems to have out, outdone its useful life. And if you were paying attention, on Tuesday we passed some new um, fiscal incentives, including the musical and entertainment sector, so you can now get them a new, a new bass drum. <laughs> um, uh, you know, just to, 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 to expand a little on that, we also will be opening two, very soon you'll be hearing about two musical recording studios, which would definitely enhance, you know, our musical industry. So, indeed, exciting things are happening. Um, I, am, I am indeed excited to be here at the unveiling of our 12th annual St. Lucia Taiwanese Partnership Trade Show. Over the years, the trade show has served as a symbol of unity between the respective governments of St. Lucia and the Republic of China and Taiwan, and has strengthened the ties between the two nations, allowing our people to interact, share ideas, cultures, technologies, and economic enhancement. My team at the Ministry of Commerce, International Trade, Investment, Enterprise Development, and Consumer Affairs has worked closely with the officials of the Embassy of the Republic of China on Taiwan to finalize logistics, marketing options, budgets, and other critical detail details necessary to make this event successful. I would imagine that this 12-year relationship started off with a host of formalities, and apprehension on both sides. But it has developed into a cordial relationship between our offices and by extension, our two countries. This initial business relationship has grown from being a mere strategic partnership to now becoming somewhat of a family affair. For this reason, it is quite fitting that the theme family has been chosen for this year's event. The many familiar faces to welcome us 
reminds me of the importance of the work of my ministry. We are conscious of the competitive nature of the current globalized trading environment and note that it is imperative that we continue to foster a collaborative and strengthened partnership with our counterparts in order to respond proactively and constructively to the demands of the dynamic business environment. As the lead government agency with responsibility for enterprise development, we at the Ministry of Commerce, International Trade Investment, Enterprise Development, and Consumer Affairs remain committed to working with the government and people of the Republic of China on Taiwan while learning and benchmarking our against your best practices. Your commitment to the growth and development of small businesses and by extension our country, St. Lucia, is well noted and appreciated. Throughout the years, we have seen the showcasing of businesses from the Republic of China on Taiwan producing eco-friendly, world-class innovation and design utilizing state-of-the-art manufacturing techniques. This event has grown from strength to strength. From an initial 13 St. Lucia companies in 2007 and now in 2019 to over 45 companies which are here to showcase. This increase is attributable to our entrepreneurs embracing opportunities to expand their customer reach and market share. It would be remiss of me not to make special mention of entrepreneurs who have used this platform to establish market presence or as an avenue for product enhancement. I would like at this point to recognize our 2019 winner of the St. Lucia Chamber of Commerce Small Business of the Year Award, Abby's Exotic Blends. Abby, if you are there, could you? <laughs> Abby's across here. Ms. Shondell's Alexander's story is one of tenacity and hard work. As a working mother and entrepreneur, given her many challenges, she has been able to take her place in this dynamic business environment with the continuous improvement to her product and processes. Congratulations, Abby. Another very worthy mention is Mrs. Christine Samuel. Christine, where are you? I saw you a while ago. Christine is a creative, enthusiastic, award-winning St. Lucian designer, and I will also say a childhood CDC friend of mine. She's one of a kind. Hand-painted, handcrafted bags and accessories. It was at this trade show that her journey of excellence began. Since then, she has grown and continuously expand her line of offerings. Christine was part of Team St. Lucia, which participated in Carrie Festa this year in Trinidad and Tobago, where she showcased her work, which was well received by visitors to her booth. In addition, her brand Christie Creations received the award for international recognition from Caribbean Style and Culture Award of Excellence in Fashion Innovation. Take a bow, Christine. <laughs> These special mentions are only two of the many entrepreneurs who have used the St. Lucia Taiwan Partnership Trade Show to propel their success, embracing the opportunity for feedback from the many customers who come to visit during the event. The St. Lucia Taiwan Partnership Trade Show is also an ideal opportunity for entrepreneurs and the public to meet with representatives from the Taiwanese companies and establish the relationships that are critical to business successes for both countries. This year, to encourage interaction between our exhibitors and buyers, we added a new component to this event called Creative Linkages, the Buyer's Marketplace. This activity served as a precursor to the trade show and took place on November 28, 2019. Representatives and purchasing managers from hotels, boutiques, supermarkets, and other key, businesses, key business partners who are important to our value chain were afforded the opportunity to engage manufacturers and service providers with the hope of developing mutually beneficial relationships. By all accounts, the, the event appeared to be well received. I am confident that we will soon hear of more success stories which will be told at next year's event. The presence of all here today, Madam Excellency, the Prime Minister, and my other ministerial colleagues, 
speaks volume to my government's commitment to trade facilitation, growth, and diversification. Echoing the words of the permanent secretary, I would like to encourage you to support the exhibiting entities. Please take a moment to speak with their representatives and most of all, provide feedback, which will only serve to make their products or services better. I am sure our, our returning entrepreneurs have used feedback from customers to enhance their products and services. And I want to recognize, Madam, you've been here for three years con continuously. It is a great pleasure to be here to share in another rewarding experience at the 12th Annual St. Lucia Taiwan Partnership Trade Show. Acknowledgement and thank you, particularly to the team from the Ministry of Commerce and the Taiwanese Embassy for making this event possible and undoubtedly successful. I wish to thank the Taiwanese delegation and our local businesses for your participation in this trade show. Special guests, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for being part of this auspicious occasion. There will be something for everyone. So we invite you to attend this three-day family affair. Invite friends, family, family members, and take advantage of this opportunity to network. God's richest blessings. I thank you. Thank you, Minister Brady Felix, for your warm remarks. And at this time, we'd like you to proceed to the front for the cutting, ribbon cutting ceremony. So, Minister Brady Felix. And we also invite His Excellency Douglas Jen Jung Shen to the cutting ceremony. And we'd like to apologize on behalf of the Prime Minister of St. Lucia, Honorable Alan Michael Shastner. He had to leave. So this event will declare the trade show officially open. Yes. Okay, we'd also like to invite the Speaker of the House of Assembly, Honorable Andy Daniel, to the cutting, ribbon cutting ceremony. Thank you, Speaker, Minister, and Ambassador for the ribbon cutting ceremony. And it marks the start of this year's Taiwan St. Lucia Partnership Trade Show. And now I invite Ms. Alana Dubois to do the vote of thanks. Kindly allow me to adopt the protocol that has already been established and to bid everyone a good morning. On behalf of the Ministry of Commerce, International Trade, Investment, Enterprise Development, and Consumer Affairs, along with the Embassy and the Republic of China, Taiwan, I wish to thank you all for taking time to join us here this morning on the 12th annual St. Lucia Taiwan Partnership Trade Show. The government and people of the Republic of China, Taiwan, continues to provide tremendous support year after year to ensure the realization of this trade show. And for their commitment, we express our heartfelt thanks and appreciation. Drawing even closer to home, the ministry would like to acknowledge and thank Mr. Bill Wang, counselor, and Mr. Jonathan Yang, Second Secretary of the Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan, for their stewardship, 
patience and support thus far towards ensuring that this trade show is one like no other. We are indeed grateful to you as part of our family. Undeniably, we need to also thank our dedicated entrepreneurs who have continued to commit themselves to improvement of their products and services, using this platform as a means to engage with their targeted customers. Your participation in this year's trade show is a testimony of your, is a testimony of your commitment to wanting to do better. We remain confident that the authentic quality products and services that you will be showcasing here will exceed the expectations of all and help to meet your business objectives. Honorable Minister Bradley Felix, your words of support and encouragement, I am sure have quelled the anxieties of our clients and have made them even more ready to embrace this new experience. We also want to extend thanks to the staff of the Ministry of Commerce, International Trade, Investment, Enterprise Development and Consumer Affairs for their continued support. We must express thanks to the Trade Show Committee, which was spearheaded by Mrs. Ruth Ann Carrasco Phillip, who continues to work above and beyond the call of duty to ensure that this exceptional show continues to go on. We at the Ministry thank you all for your presence and your participation here today and invite you to support the exhibitions. Do enjoy the rest of your day. Earlier on in the program, we were favored with special rendition from the St. Lucia School of Music and the Library Steel Pan Group. The ceremony would be incomplete if we did not have a presentation from the Taiwanese group, a Taiwanese cultural presentation called the Lion Dance. So we invite them at this time to perform.
thank you for the cultural performance. It, make, it really makes me feel back to Taiwan. <laughs> Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, our opening ceremony for this morning has come to an end. On behalf of the Republic of China Taiwan Embassy in St. Lucia, and the Minister of Commerce, International Trade, Investment, Enterprise Development, and Consumer Affairs, may we thank you for your presence in participating in the opening ceremony for the 12th Annual St. Lucia Taiwan Partnership Trade Show.